Drawing a table to record your results during an experiment. <clears throat> Let's look at an example. Here's a prediction. The length of a rubber band is affected by the weight hanging on it. To design my table I need to know what I'm going to be measuring so I need to know what the independent variable is going to be and I need to know what the dependent variable is going to be. Well both of those are mentioned in the prediction statement so the thing I'm going to change is the weight hanging on the rubber band and the thing I'm going to measure each time is the length of the rubber band. Now that I know those two I can start to construct my table. My table should have columns and the first column should always be for your independent variable. Now the equipment I'm going to need to draw a table is a pencil and a ruler. And the place where you're going to draw your table is in your pendulum investigation booklet where you've got your scientific terms there. You have written out your description of the experiment you're going to do. And on the back you've got a space here for constructing your table. So I'm going to draw a table for this experiment. So, all the lines in the table should be drawn with a ruler and a pencil. So, here is the first column. And in the title here, I need to put two things. I need to say what it is I'm going to be measuring and recording in this column. And I also need to say what units I'm going to be measuring them in. So here I've got weight on the rubber band. and <clears throat> that is going to be measured in newtons. Okay, now I can think about how I'm going to record my dependent variable and for each value that I choose for the weight I'm going to measure the length of the rubber band three times and then take an average. So that means I need three columns for the three different measurements and another column for the average. That's another four columns. So in here I'm going to split this in half. And here I'm going to put my column, so that's going to be my first try. That's going to be my second attempt. Third attempt and the average. So again I need to label this correctly and carefully so all of these columns are going to have recorded in them lengths of the rubber band. So I can say here this is length of rubber band and I'm going to be measuring that in centimetres and I can say first try second try, third try and I can put average or mean there. Now 
that's my table drawn it's ready for me to record my measurements and in my table here I am only going to write numbers I don't need to put any units in here because I've already put them in the column headings I know that everything I write in here is measured in newtons so I don't need to write n next to the numbers there I know everything measured in here is in centimeters so I don't need to put centimeters next to it so there's my table it's ready for me to do the experiment.